The pangolin's really the, the holy grail of game viewing on an African safari. It's an animal that's seen so rarely. They're so cryptic and difficult to see and it's only the most exceptional trackers can find them. We have no idea how many there are on a place like Swalu and indeed across the whole of Southern Africa. So what we are doing uh, right here is trying to identify different individuals and see if we find those different individuals again. And from that information, we should be able to, over time, come up with a population estimate. And once we have a population estimate, we will then know what contribution places like Swalu are making to their conservation and uh, how much more attention we have to pay to, to conserve the pangolin across its entire range. Very fortunately, the pangolin uh, has easily manageable scales. It, 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 the, one pangolin looks much like the other, so we can't use individual markings um, like perhaps you would with an elephant's ears or something. We don't have individual markings to tell these animals apart, but they do have these really nice robust scales. And these scales are, are, are really just modified hair. They, they're like fingernails. And so they have no feeling um, and they're quite hard and brittle so we, if we can find ways of marking these uh, these scales then they will carry that marking for for some time we don't know how fast the scales grow but if we put a mark in that scale it will carry that mark for hopefully a couple of years and as we see them repeatedly uh, we will then be able to understand a little bit about how effective this marking is